This kind of uh, new implants is, uh, to me, uh, revolutionary. I mean, uh, they are deeply different from any other implant because uh, they are uh, uh, much softer. The, the consistency is very similar to the one of the breast mount, and uh, they move together with the body. You know that uh, when the body changes its position, also the breast, uh, should get a different shape and uh, these implants give this kind of result. Furthermore, they, uh, um, they don't have the uh, common complications of other uh, implants like the microtextual ones like uh, double capsule, Sirona or even maybe uh, ALCL which is kind of uh, a cancer lymphoma. Actually, so there are several advantages uh, in choosing this kind of um, implants. This is not a cheap implant, uh, and there are reasons because uh, there is a lot of research behind them. Because uh, after all the problems that the implants uh, gave in the recent years, uh, these uh, uh, manufacturers invest a lot of money, I, I think, in f uh, try to find out uh, uh, solutions uh, to these problems and to find a, a special uh, uh, device which really give uh, the result we need for our patients. So it's, uh, to, to me it's uh, really something uh, great. You know, when we change uh, from uh, the old kind of implants uh, uh, to this new device, the, the patient that re realize uh, a, a, a different feeling, tot totally different, much more natural, uh, much more uh, similar to what should be a natural breast. In recent years, uh, uh, we had uh, much more problems related to the uh, envelope, meaning to the texture of the implant, uh, such as uh, seroma or uh, uh, rotation for what concern uh, uh, shaped implants like uh, uh, teardrop implants. And this uh, uh, was due to the fact that uh, they, uh, they wouldn't stick to the capsule and uh, they could uh, rotate them. Can you imagine a, a breast upside down? It's obviously very, very bad looking. And uh, another complication, frequent complication, is uh, capsular contraction, meaning that uh, the breast um, becomes hard. And uh, with these new implants, uh, the possibility to get this complication from 10, 15% is uh, now under 1%, so it's very, very rare. So it is a huge improvement. They, they have uh, the, uh, many different characteristics. First, uh, they have this uh, surface which is uh, almost smooth, it's not rough. And this allows less irritation to the tissues and consequently less problems like uh, seroma, double capsule or maybe even uh, this lymphoma. Then they have uh, a special um, uh, gel inside which is uh, much more mobile and moves together with the envelope. So at the end, uh, what the patient and uh, anybody who can look or, or palpate the breast uh, can see or feel is that uh, it's really natural. It's exactly as the, the normal breast. First, they should uh, try to find uh, a good uh, plastic surgeon and then to, to choose the, the right implant considering all the advantages and disadvantages of each of them.